this uh, question is coming on Facebook from Amanda. Uh, what is your medical opinion on schools opening in the fall? Uh, well, I think uh, I think there's two ways to look at the question. We, you know, it's another unknown still is how how much are children contributing to the transmission chains uh, of this virus. And I think that we have to be careful and very cautious about opening schools again. At the same time, we have to be pragmatic. Having schools closed down is one of the most socially disruptive things that a society can do. Adults rely on their children being at school in order to carry out their normal work day. So there has to be a balance. And I think the conversation really has to start being about balancing uh, public health from an infectious disease lens and public health from an economic and social lens. The, the thing that we don't want to find ourselves in is we, we don't want to find ourselves looking back and recognizing that the, the shutdowns and the economic catastrophe that came from that ultimately kills more people and younger people than, than the virus would have alone unmitigated. So we need to figure out how to balance these and thinking about what are the risks associated with opening schools is a central component of that. We, we need to do the studies right now and some places they are ongoing to understand are kids transmitting and are they, if they're transmitting amongst each other, do they bring it home to their parents? And what does that mean for the risk to their parents? And, and we have to take all of this information that we don't yet have uh, fully into account to, to really understand these questions.